Welcome to our lesson on limits of accuracy. So a number has been rounded to the nearest 10 as 50. And we're going to look at the range of values that this could be. The lowest value it could be, well it could have been 49, because the nine units would round the four tens to a five, so that would become 50. Could have been 48 for the same reason, 47, 46, and 45 because these five units would round the four tens to a 50. But as soon as we go lower than 45, for instance, 44.9, these four units do not change the four tens into a five tens. So the lowest it could be is 45. And we call this value the lower bound. We can work out the upper bound. It could have been 51 because the one unit would not change a 5 tenths to a 6. It could have been 52, 53, it could have even been 54. The 4 units again would not change these 5 tenths into a 6. It could even have been 54.9 because again these 4 units would not change a 5 tenths into a 6. It could also have been 54.99 for the same reason. So the maximum it could have been has to have been less than 55. And this is called the upper bound. So we can write these limits of accuracy using an inequality where the number 50, which we can call x. So x has to be less than 55, but greater than or equal to 45. And these are the limits of accuracy. Okay, let's move on to question B. So for question B now, the number has been rounded to the nearest 100 as 1,200. So we'll look at the smallest this number could have been. Well, it could have been 1,190 because again, the nine tens now would round up the 100 into two. Could have been 1,160. The six would round up the one to a two. Could have been 1,150. The five would round up the one to a two but it could not have been 1,149 because these four would not round up the 100 into 200. So this is your lower bound. For the upper bound, well, it could have been 1,210 because this 110 would not round up the 200s. It could have been 1,230 for the same reason. Or it could have been 1,245 Again, these four tens would not have changed these two hundreds. So the maximum it could have been was less than 1,250. And again, this is the upper bound. So as an inequality, if we were to call this number x, we would say that x had to be less than 1,250, but greater than or equal to 1,150. Okay, let's try question C. And for question C, a number has been rounded to 7.8 to one decimal place. It could have been 7.79 because the nine hundredths would have rounded for seven tenths to an eight. Could have been 7.76 for the same reason. It could have been 7.75. Again, the five hundredths would have rounded for seven tenths to an eight but it could not have been 7.749 recurring because the four hundredths would not have rounded for seven tenths to an eighth. So this is your lower bound. For the upper bound, we could do 7.81 because the one hundredth would not have rounded for eight to a nine. Could have been 7.84. Again, for the same reason, but it had to be less than 7.85 because if it was equal to, the five hundredths would have rounded the eight tenths to a nine. So this is our upper bound. So again, let's call this x and the limits of accuracy. It had to be less than 7.85, but greater than or equal to our lower bound of 7.75. Do you want to try and work out the inequalities for D, E and F? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. 
So for question D, the limit of accuracy would have been greater than or equal to 85, but less than 95. And for question E, it would have been greater than or equal to 9.25, but less than 9.35. And for question F, greater than or equal to 6.715, but less than 6.725. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.